folks today's video is going to be a comparison video i'm comparing two koalas on the left we've got my fuzzy friend's snuggling koala that has recently recently been released by skyrocket and on the right we've got kip the cosy dozy that was brought out last year by moose toys but is still available to buy now so these two koalas are a similar size and a similar price and they're both interactive my fuzzy friend snuggling koala is available for $24.99 that's $24.99 dollars or pounds and Kip the Cozy Dozy is available for $29.99 dollars or pounds so I did an unboxing of my fuzzy friend's koala a few weeks ago and this is the packaging he comes in you pull a tag out on his back to switch him on the first time and then his cheeks light up and his head moves and it make various sounds it also comes with full instructions and there's different ways to play with him depending on whether he's clutching onto your arm or not so you can pet his head, you can wipe tap, and tap his nose, you can touch his mouth and you can tickle his belly. And depending on if he's clutching your arm or not clutching your arm, he will give different reactions to touching these touch sensors. He comes with one accessory and that's his leaf that you can feed him with and basically you use the leaf to press a button on uh, where his mouth is so if you lost the leaf it wouldn't really matter and of course he clutches onto your arm which is super cute so this koala has got uh, 50 um, different reactions as it says on the box and we found that all the stuff it said on the box and in the instructions um that he does he did oh it was real cute he's hungry now at the moment but a, a big downside of this toy is that it doesn't have an on off switch when you first uh, get the koala, you pull a tag out to switch it on because they'll power down. They'll power down um, if you don't interact with them after a short while. I think he's just done it now. He's gone to sleep. So he's powered down now. And if I want to switch him back on, I can press his mouth. Or is it his nose? No, it's his, it seems to be his nose. No, it's his nose. You press his nose and he comes on. But I found after I sort of stored him for a while that um, pressing his nose didn't cause him to come on. And I had to actually take the batteries out because he hasn't got an on off switch, which is not good. Unfortunately, there are more and more toys that I see now that do, don't have on-off switches. And they'll just have a tag that you pull out when you get them. That is something that I would say is um, a big negative about this, this toy. So before I carry on to compare these two um, koalas... Um, I'll just first 
show you what this koala, Kip the koala, was like in her packaging. So I did an unboxing of this cosy dozy koala last year and this is the packaging that the koala came in. It actually comes in something that looks like a little crib which is really cute and then it has a little swaddling blanket over it and it has a pacifier attached to the koala so that uh, you don't lose it. Packaging's so cute you can actually rock the koala in it like a proper little crib and it comes with full instructions on how to use your little cosy dozy koala. I must admit uh, I do find Kip really cute. I like how you can put different pacifiers in Kip's mouth and I like the way the Kip's shaped in that it's possible to dress her up. I've got such a fondness of her that we actually went to the trouble of making this rocking crib <laughs> with all, all koala themed. I just think she's so cute. So both of these koalas have got touch sensor on their tummy which um, makes them giggle when you tickle them. So I'm going to switch these two koalas on and then compare their giggles. It's very easy to get Kip to giggle. <laughs> I love the giggle. I love the giggle. I'm oh, getting them to giggle now. This koala, I would say, is much more. It's much more difficult. It's much more difficult to get this koala to giggle. So the next thing I'm going to compare is feeding these two koalas. Just a little belch after it. <laughs> oh, that's a nice giggle. Actually, it's a, it's a bit manic, a giggle. <laughs> so the snuggling koala, if you lose his leaf, you can basically feed him with anything. Kit has got like a, a, a shaped pacifier that you feed Kip with. Um, and it is possible to feed Kip with all other pacifiers but they would have to have the same shape she's still giggling it's so very easy to make giggle have touch sensors on their heads so I'm going to compare petting the koalas
So Kip only has half the reactions that the snuggling koala has. The snuggling koala has 50 reactions and Kip has 25. But to be honest, I like the sounds that Kip makes better. Um, the skyrocket koala is more sophisticated in that on top of these things that I've compared, the skyrocket koala does do other things like it'll react differently if you put them on your arm um, than if he's just sitting and um, you can shake him and that gives a different reaction. So um, I'll put a link to um, my unboxing video if you would like to see those details. I think the things where um, they overlap, I prefer the, the sounds that um, Kip mo makes. Um, obviously the movement's different. In this koala, it's the neck that moves and in Kip, it's the eyes. Um, but yeah. I do find Kip cuter, but that's just my personal opinion. So I hope you found that comparison useful, folks. Thanks for watching, as always, and see you next time.